Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 22-year-old female who had shoulder pain for five years. It just wouldn't go away. It just slowly got worse and worse over time. She had no injury or any other problems, just a slow, steady, increasing shoulder pain. So she came in for an MRI. The doctor thought she may have a labral tear, and on this view here, we have put a fluid in the joint. So the round thing here is the humeral head. This is the humeral shaft coming down here. And over here, this is part of the scapula called the glenoid. And this is the shoulder joint, the glenohumeral joint, the humerus and glenoid. And you can see that there's a little bit of separation because the fluid in there, the contrast, is widening the joint. The joint looks really, really good. Over the top of the joint, we see something called the rotator cuff. There's a muscle here that's great. It goes over sideways and it attaches way over here on the outside the deltoid muscles over here. But all the rotator cuff look good. There's a little black wedge here called the labrum, that little black triangle that goes around the rim of this cup. The labrum look good, her biceps look good. So everything was looking good, except for out here along the outside. So the contrast we put in there is really white. But there's another fluid collection over here that shows up on this view. Now this view, any fluid is white, not just contrast. So you can see this contrast is white and also this fluid is white here. And this is a bursa, a really inflamed bursa. It's called the subacromial subdeltoid bursa, and she has just a really bad case of bursitis. And in her bursa, not only is it big and thick, it has these little areas of darkness scattered throughout it, so it's synovial inflammation, prominent synovitis. And normally this is just from um, too much motion, and the, the bursa gets thickened and inflamed. It can get synovial inflammation. Sometimes it can be related to infection, or sometimes people have rheumatoid arthritis or other conditions that cause it. But this is usually really easily treated with conservative therapy, sometimes steroid injections or just uh, letting the patient rest. But it is a relatively common cause of shoulder pain, and a lot of times people don't even get imaged. They get treated conservatively, but this patient was uh, had such severe symptoms they uh, that it got an MRI here. So again, this is the joint. Over the top here, we have the rotator cuff coming across, and again, the bursis, I'm sorry, the bursitis or the bursal distension is outside of the rotator cuff and is deep to the deltoid. Again, a case of prominent bursitis of the shoulder.